Wallingford Magazine is an opportunity to speak directly to the businesses in town. I'm going to suggest that we continue that particular effort, where uh, we would start a, a, uh, a column called From the Desk of Joe. And Steve Knight, he would ghostwrite for Joe. What we'd have from the desk of Joe, if you're okay with it, Joe, <laughs> yes, you do have some say, is to talk about an ordinance allowing the deferral of public utility bills and tax bills. But I think the purpose of this column would be to say that you know, we can say that we're a community and we do on a regular basis, but there are times when you need to act like a community. And you know, recognizing that people right now are stretched in a lot and strained in a lot of ways, give credit to the town council and the mayor for um, you know putting this deferral program in place, letting people know that uh, they can defer their utility bills uh, and they can defer their uh, their taxes. The underlying or underpinning would be we don't just say we're a community; we recognize uh, when we can you know respond and act like a community, and and um, and we thank the council for doing that. It would be nice to be out front and letting them know that this is a community with availability and that's working to willing to work with them. The Longford Magazine would have you know, sure. a column from the desk of Joe. And then we also have a full page. You remember the ad that we prepared, Joe was gracious to take all the photographs for everybody of all the commissioners. So we have a, a half page um, a vertical ad, half page, and then a half page for a story. And that story was going to be, and that was going to be the next thing we were going to talk about, um, also written by Steve Knight. That story would, would be talking about the very things that you're talking about. How, you know, I, I use the word pivoting, you know, uh, frequently how, how economic development has pivoted from, you know, business expansion. We're trying to take and, and work with businesses to keep them as vibrant as, as possible under 